Shalom. Today I am going to explain about King Saul's family was a royal family in Afghanistan. King Saul descendants migrated to Afghanistan through Iran. They live in Afghanistan. They rule Afghanistan. Let us see. First Chronicles 8 chapter 34th verse to 48th verse. The son of Jonathan was Mirbal and Mirbal fathered Mikha. The sons of Mikha, Piton, Melek, Teren and Ahaz. The sons of Ulam were strong, brave men, archers. They had many children and grandchildren, a hundred and fifty. All these were descendants of Pinyamin. So, King, Saul, King Saul's sons were killed in the war, but Saul's grandsons were not killed in war. They survived. They lived. Saul's grandsons from Jonathan, they were survived. King David, he didn't kill them. So, Jonathan's sons were reached to Afghanistan. Jonathan's son named Mribal, his offspring were there. He had so many grandchildren, grandsons. Especially Ulam, he was a famous grandson to Jonathan. Ulam's sons are very strong, very brave and archers. They are shooters. Nearly 150 sons, grandsons in this clan. So, all the Benjamin tribe, especially King Saul's relatives, Jonathan's grandsons were brave shooters and archers. They migrate to Afghanistan through Iran. Thus, King Shah Nasser, he brought them as captives and slaves to Iran. First Chronicles 9 chapter 38 verse. In contrast with some of their kinsmen, they and their families lived in Jerusalem. Yes, King Saul family lived in Jerusalem. All the Benjamites were near to Judah tribe. Judah tribe was royal tribe. They ruled Israel country. Benjamin followed them. All the Benjamin people, the tribe stayed with Judah tribe in Jerusalem. Judah tribe and Benjamin tribe both were in Jerusalem. But remaining 10 tribes were not in Jerusalem. They were out of Jerusalem and other bank of Jordan. 39th verse. Nair father Kish, Kish father Shaul and Shaul father Jonathan. So all these royal families lived in Jerusalem. Most of the Benjamin people were lived in Jerusalem. Very close to, very nearer to Judah tribe. First Kings 9 chapter 13 verse. He said, what kind of cities are these which you have given me, my brother? So they have been called the land of Kabul, good for nothing till this day. Hiram has sent the king four tons of gold. Land of Kabul, this word mentioned in Holy Bible. Kabul, Kabul was in Afghanistan. Kabul is in Afghanistan. Kabul means? Good for nothing, not useful. The Kabul word is there in Holy Bible. The business transactions from Jerusalem to Iran, Iran to Afghanistan is quite common and natural in those days. First Chronicles 12th chapter. Following are the men who joined David as Ziegler when he was still being kept away from Shaul, the son of Kish. They were among the warriors who helped him fight his battles. They were archers who could use either hand to sling stones or shoot arrows from a bow. They were Shaul's kinsmen from Binyamin. Yes, many warriors among Binyamin, Benjamin tribe, they can use sling stones to kill the enemies. They can shoot arrows from a bow to murder the enemies. These were Shaul's kinsmen from Benjamin tribe. So. Benjamin tribe, especially from King Saul's family members, they were brave archers, shooters, and they can use slim stones. So, if you find Afghanistan people, they are very height. King Saul was very tall person, very handsome person. He was very handsome than all Israelites. He he was taller than Israel people. Afghanistan people were tallest people. Afghanistan people were brave people. Afghanistan people were strong people. Afghanistan people were warriors. 
Afghanistan people were archers and shooters. They were famous in war. They are expert in war. They don't care anybody because Afghanistan tribes belongs to King Saul's families. Their roots were Jewish roots. They are especially King Saul's Benjamin tribe. They are very handsome, very tall, very brave. All these qualities we can found in Pashtuns in Afghanistan. We call Pathans also. Nimat Allah Al Harwal. He discusses about Israel people. History for Khani Jehan Lodi. It is also discuss about Israel people. Many historical books about Israels in the region of Afghanistan. So many Mughal emperors, they impress about these Israelite people also. Jahangir, 17th century, he knows them very well. Magjami Afghani says that Iran rulers permitted Israels to east Afghanistan. During the period of Cyrus the Great, the Persian emperor, he also know about Jewish people in Iran region because he conquered Babylon in 538 BC. So he ruled Babylon also. He ruled the ancient nations. So he know very well about these people. Tajik historian Jojani in 17th century he mentioned about Jewish colonies. Many Jewish colonies in Afghanistan. He mentioned Guri chief Amir Banji recruited Jews as advisors because Jewish people were intelligent, talented, honest and trustworthy people. In, 19, in 1736, Persian king Nadir Afsar encouraged Jewish settlements in the region because Jewish people know the merchant rules. They are experts in the business. They came to Kerala for spices and they brought these spices to Israel. So Iran is a trade route to Jewish people. So Iran to Afghanistan, many business transactions are there. So this king encouraged Jewish people. Very important thing, in Jonathan's family, in King Saul's family, there was a grandson. His name was Afghana. Afghana. Afghana was the grandson name of Saul. So they named Afghanistan because of his name Afghana. In 1836, nearly 40,000 Jews were there, but they increased to 80,000 in Herat. Herat is famous place for Jewish settlements. Many historic evidences were there in Herat in Afghanistan. Mars Yard Elvin Stone wrote a book in 1841. He said, Afghans from Jews. Yes, Afghans has Jewish roots. Afghans has Jewish ancestors. Greeks and Jews were ancestors of Pashtuns, means Pathans. So Pathans was a mixed race now because they married Iranians, they married other race people, they married Greeks, they married Indian Rajputs, so they married Greeks also. So this is a mixture, combination of many races. So these Pathans or Pashtuns has Jewish and Greek roots. So Afghana was grandson, they named to Afghanistan. So King Saul of three ruled Afghanistan. Look at the Afghanistan. They look like King Saul. Very beautiful, very handsome, very brave, very dare. Even Taliban's, some of them were belongs to Pashtun tribes. A scale. So, so many historic evidences, so many Islam books, so many historians mentioned about the settlements of Jewish people in Afghanistan region. God will bring them again to <coughs> Israel. Thank you. God bless you.